Alright guys, I'm back with another Transformers review. My name is Colwyn, and today I've got a twofer, threefer, yeah, let's say threefer. So, um, on the, the, the left, the, these guys are both recreations, updates, redesigns of old characters from the G1, G2 continuity that were known as Duocons. What is a Duocon? Duocons are Transformers that instead of converting into a single alt mode, like these two guys, where they have the robot mode and they have the vehicle mode. No, 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 no. When they transform, they split into two separate vehicles that at the same time are the same personality, but like separate aspects of the personality. It's weird, and they did their own thing with it when they came to the Power of the Primes, and then later on War for Cybertron Sky Skytreads. So are like, okay, so, we'll start with Power the Primes first. Um, this is his combined mode. They did sell these guys separately. And this is what I mean by they did their own thing. Originally, uh, Battle Trap here transformed into a helicopter for the top. And like a dune buggy, beach cruiser kind of truck thing for the bottom legs. However, in this case, when we separate them and transform them, they will have their own separate robot modes known as... Um, Road Trap for the legs, and Battle Slash for the top. Sorry about that. <clears throat> but, for like, right now we have him in his combined mode, and this isn't the official uh, position for the backpack, but there's a bunch of things you can do with it. I personally like doing it this way, where you fold the arms back in and you get the blade up there, and, like, you got to reposition the shoulders a little bit, and it's not quite lined up. But it's a lot more secure than the official transformation. And you can see in this mode that he he looks good you know the white torso with the blue legs he's got all the nice sharp lines and stuff yeah he's got a few stains and dirt on him he's going on maybe eight years old now um 2016 yeah he's going on almost eight years now wow okay uh, articulation wise he's got th that's not supposed to articulate that's supposed to be pegged into place and stay in place he's got ball jointed shoulders ball jointed elbows Nothing at the wrist. Uh, these actually become his legs in his other mode, in his uh, individual robot mode. And if you're so inclined, you can flip those propeller blades forward and they become like these, you know, arm blade things. It's kind of cool. Uh, he does have a very nice waist joint that has literally battle tra uh, um, what was his name again? Uh, road trap. That's road trap's head jammed up inside there. So they're using the guy's neck as the waist. Very nice ball jointed hips. Very good above the knee swivel. This thing, there's a lot of transformation joints in here. And some of these joints are meant to be used for road um, um, road traps, uh, individual robot mode. But you can use them for the combined robot mode and get this really nice double bend knee and... This ball joint can come in handy for articulation. You've got this right here can be used for uh, an extended heel to get different poses. I don't know what you'd want to do with it, but hey, it's there. Extra joints are extra joints. There's even another little ankle joint here. It's really, dude, if you're willing to break the transformation, yeah. And these right here hanging on the side, yes, those are his individual robot mode arms. The, uh peg up here doesn't want to stay in place very well it's okay it's fine uh no he doesn't come with any actual individual accessories but that's fine he he does a lot on his own without needing any accessories let's go ahead and stick him over here for right now and let's let's bring in sky tread and yes sky tread is a combination of a jet and a tank and this one, they went straight up old school Duocon. He does not have individual robot modes, but it works for him in his own way. Let's go ahead and take his guns out of his hands for a moment, and we'll take a quick look at those. They do peg together, and this was this was Evo Fusion before Evo Fusion. Okay, he uh, he actually was one of the starting guys to have all the siege ports. So got this. Red plastic, burgundy plastic with a bit of bronze painted on there. You got a short barreled one and a long barreled one. You can combine them together. 
big old cool sniper weapon. Let's stick that over there. We'll we'll need that for the vehicle modes later on. But Skytread himself, like he's nice and bulky and strong and you know, even though he doesn't have separate oh, separate robot modes, he still has really good articulation. He's got above 90 degree bend on the elbows. He's got no wrist swivel because of the transformation. He's got an above at the at the shoulder swivel. Bull, uh, no, not bull jointed. Universal jointed. He's got a hinge and a swivel for the shoulders. He's got a nice bull jointed neck so you can get some good wiggle waggle going on. No waist. Oh, no, he does. He does have waist articulation. It is limited by his tail a bit, but it's okay. Universal jointed hips. Um, at the hip swivel. Very nice 90 degree knee bend. And he's got these big old clawed hopper feet. He's going to get some nice wide stand positions. And he is not going to fall down at all. Actually, no, he was 2018, wasn't he? Yeah, he was after Combiner Wars. Um, but still, he's going on like maybe eight years old now. This guy, he was, I want to say, 2020 or 2021. So yeah, he's going on maybe four years now. The backpack is like non-existent. And if you're so inclined, you can fold the wings back and reposition them however you want. Now, there is a reason why. Oh, let me, let me bring in some more size comparisons real quick. Here's... Film Noir Spider-Man. Here's these guys again. <clears throat> There's a reason why I want to film these guys together. So let me go ahead and... Come on. Ugh, separate Skytread. And let me separate Battle Slash. And yeah, you can see right there, there's the head. It's funny. We'll get into them in a moment. But you can take these two guys... And they're, yeah, I got it correct. Their ports are compatible. And I don't know what you would want to name these guys. But like Battle Tread and, and Sky Trap maybe. And what's cool is that they still look good. The burgundy brown and the blue works good. The white and the dark brown works good. And it's like, almost, since they're both Decepticons, this is very much something that I could see them doing together. Because, why not? It would, you know, change up their abilities, change up their strengths. It'd be kind of a play on the whole Headmaster gimmick. So, let's go ahead and get Road Trap back out. <sighs> Come on, now. There we go. We get... This guy out. I'll put them off the side for right now, okay? Let's go ahead and transform this guy into his individual. Actually, no, 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 no. Let's let's put them back together real quick. So we can have them available for the individual. There we go. Let's have him right there for right now. Okay, so to transform this guy into his individual robot mode, we're gonna come up here to the chest plate and open that up and flip it. And that's the combined mode head. That's not used in the other mode. I'm going to take the legs and straighten them out to here. Can I pull this whole section forward? Yes, this whole section does come forward. But first, I need to open up the arms. Bring the arms away from the backpack. Hinge that back like this so I can pull out the smaller head. Take these right here. And hinge them downward. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. This section down here hinges outwards so that we can bring the hips down. Hook them together. Those fists become the legs. That just sits out there in the middle of nowhere. Yep. Doesn't really go in any place. Um, take the arms and hinge them outward. Oh, am I doing that wrong? Is that really how your arms are supposed to be? Okay. All right. That's how his arms are supposed to be. 
Yeah, that is how the arm's supposed to be because there's these slots on the back. Push it all the way away so that these tabs here can peg in there. And yeah, he's got these weird side-mounted arms going on. Hey, he's got to do three things at once in a smaller package. You got to you gotta give him credit for that. So let's put Sky Tread there. We'll put Battle Slash there. And let's take a look at Road Trap. So yeah, he, he's in legs mode right now. This is like... Shades of of power core no not power core combiners shades of energon right yeah okay so take these pieces here and you're just going to close everything back together put all the pegs together all the pins together and then take these two pieces here and there's hinges on the sides here. And you're going to lift it up like you're lifting up his, his chest into place like that. Turn his head around, re-disconnect the legs, bring the arms around. And he also has, oh no, his, his shoulders mount properly on either side of him. So yeah, he's got good normal shoulders. But yeah, these guys, they were sold separately in separate packaging. But yeah, here we got them in their individual robot modes. Let's go ahead and bring in Film Noir Spider-Man. Back in the cars. <sighs> Excuse you. So in there, their individual robot modes, they do have some issues. Like he's got a big old open backpack with all this exposed junk that has nothing to do with his individual mode. He's got this weird thing hanging off his butt and like weird articulation, but like it still works. And he's got this... this Inward hinge on his elbow. No waist articulation. Bull jointed hips. Bull jointed knees. For what these two guys do. They do it really well. And you can forgive their smaller stature size. These guys were maybe $8 to $10 each. When they first came out. And um, he was like 20 bucks, But he was also classified as a deluxe. Let's go ahead and continue on into his vehicle mode. Let's go ahead and flip his propellers down like this. Bring this plate open again. Hinge these forward. Close that. These have to come back out again. Open up the chest so we can fold the head back in. The legs come all the way back. Yes, all the way back as far as they'll go. And then twist at the knees to reorientate them upwards and peg them together. Then we're going to come up here. Oh, we got to open that up. Oh. Come on. Bring the arms away on those hinges. Okay. Yeah, this guy, he does a bunch of weird stuff. Bring those long hinges back up again. There is this tab right here is going to go into this slot right here. So, oh yeah, here we go. Using the interior hinge. And then these two tabs are going to go on either side of the arm. Can I close that down? Yeah, let's close that down. That tab's in there. This rotates around like this. And I can bring that in, and it's going to tab together. And then close the nose cone down. I really don't know where all this stuff came from. I know it looks like somebody's been sticking it someplace they shouldn't. I know. Make the jokes. Make the jokes. And we end up with this weird squat little sci-fi techno helicopter that is vaguely enough of a helicopter that, yeah, you can call it a helicopter, but, like, it's obvious there's his robot mode, arm, legs, whatever. And yeah, but again, what he's doing... Oh, I didn't... There we go. What he's doing, and for his size, he does it really, really well. We'll go ahead and put him over there and come back here to Road Trap. Transform him. Basically, it's going to lay him down. Uh, 
put his arms behind his back like this. There's a tab there with a slot there. See this tab slot on that tab. Just bring the arm around there and there. Take the head and twist it underneath. Well, yeah, just turn him around to where his head's facing downwards. Bring these legs, these feet forward so you can line up the front windshield. And then everything's going to kind of... Do I bring that forward? Oh, yeah, we do use that again. Okay, those hinges from earlier, we're going to use those again to bring the chest down and lined up with the front fender. And then the fists are going to tuck underneath behind the front tires like this and peg all together. And then, come on, peg all together. There we go. So yeah, his vehicle mode, his head just sticks right up underneath the back and he's got his hips hanging out the back end. But like, he's this blue little truck pickup thing with sci-fi stuff on the back. So, like, this is, like, his communication gear to communicate with the helicopter, you know? Hey. Put those guys over there, and we'll come in here, and we'll take care of transforming Skytread. So, first of all, yes, we got to open up the sides again. Probably pull that out. And that, you don't need to, but it really does help to get a grip on there to pull that part out. This combiner port thing just gets folded up into the back tail fin. These get folded out to the side. Make sure you fold out the wings. The head just tucks away inside. These shoulder parts will collapse into the uh, the vehicle mode. And, oh yeah, we gotta close the fists. Those go in like that. And where is, oh, here we go. So these slots here are gonna go onto these tabs here. So line that up. And also the arms themselves have tabs on either side. Uh-oh, what'd I do? Okay, these holes need to go downwards. There we go. Okay. And then there we have the the view the, the, the jet portion of Sky Tread. We'll put him down there for a moment and then we'll take care of the tread portion. We're gonna open up the front of the legs. We're gonna take the tank treads and fold them straight down like that. We need to peg them together now. You see what we're doing. And then take the knees and bend them forward. And then these tabs will go into those slots. And then just close that over on top. But it's a tank with no weapons, right? There we go. And like they still share color from each other a little bit. The tank looks a lot more tanky and realistic than the jet because the jet's got this big old undercarriage thing. But like you can treat that as negative space. It's, it's not really there. It's invisible, you know. And if you just look at the top, it looks really good. It's a really decent little tiny jet. And they do look good together. Heck, all four of them look really good together. Let's go ahead and bring back in the comparisons. We got the vehicles with the car. We got these guys with the car. So you're not going to find these guys at Walmart or Target anymore nowadays. You're definitely going to have to go to eBay for them. I don't know what their prices are going for on eBay. I think they're really good. I think you guys should track them down. 
Um, they're fun figures. They're good quality figures. They've got their gives. They've got their takes. You know, do you want straight old style duo cons? Or do you want duo cons with a little bit of extra? And if anything, get all four of them together because they can swap their partners back and forth, you know? So this has been Coleman talking about Transformers, Power of the Primes, uh, Battle Trap, a.k.a. Road Trap, and Battle Slash, and War for Cybertron, Sky Tread. Get all four, get all three of them, actually. They're really good together. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.